Blessings, Vache, Wahota Sen. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know. I'm in a good mood today. I'm in a good mood. I'm in a great mood, actually. Let's see the lighting. So, yeah, so you are all sitting on my laundry basket, which actually, my Ghana basket is going to be available. It's available now. If you want the red, golden, green Ghana basket that you could use for many things, so let me just show you what I'm doing for those that doing I am uh, so these are my sheets this is the ones actually it's not in my sheet I do have a sheet set as well these are the curtains and the curtains are called Lisa Marie I renamed them I renamed let's put you over here ladies I renamed them uh, it's a <laughs> Is the reason why I call them the Lisa Marie's because it's the first fabric that I ever had curtains made into. The first fabric. And I just, it's always, it's still me. Like, it's still me. But I'm actually folding them up because, as you know, I have the, uh, the Angelina up at this point. So I just want, okay, I'm, uh, don't judge my folding. Woo, my folding. It's not something I like to do. Yeah, I'm a designer. I don't like to uh, fold, and I don't like to iron, but I did both today. Let's talk out for the day. So, yeah, I'm getting out of here early because I got some products to uh, mail out to some lovely sisters that bought some lovely bags. And then I got uh, my pyramid bag. You know, I'm still on it. I got another idea with it, so I'm going to take it to the guy today. At the front door, I have my two final collar boxes. Y'all know the ones that were in the hallway. The ones that were in the hallway. A lot of these. How many do I have? Oh my God. Let's see, four. I probably got, I should have six of these. So, uh, yeah, so the collar boxes that in the hall, that was in the hall, they're turning into, I'm turning them into lamps. But I'm going to help him. I'm going to decide when I see him what carvings we're going to use. So if you are wanting the, this is, uh, so I measured it. These are 84 by 44, let's just say. So they're 84 from, you know, from the top of your window to the bottom. So they're 84 inches long. That's the standard. That's a little above the standard. And they, I sell them in panels. If you're interested, email me at theblackberrybeauty at gmail.com, okay? Very important that you do that. Uh, this one, and just say, I'm, I'm going to inquire about the Lisa Marie. They are well made, y'all. Uh, we have to. Somebody sent me an article, but I had already known because I saw another video on it. Let's get this out here. Somebody sent me an article about the fast fashion, but as it pertains to that, all of that. Oh, okay. I was messing with this bag earlier. I just had because uh, it has a oh, hole. Thank you, thank you. That was not a disaster. Uh, but yeah, it was talking about how all that stuff y'all donate and they can't get rid of because it's too much stuff because of the way we buy and sell because it's garden, the stuff we, that you're buying from the H&Ms and the Twin, Fairy 21s and even the home stores. They need to put those in there too. They end up in the landfill, but not just in the landfills. The ones, ooh, I hope I can fit more. You know what, we're gonna go to the other, because I got all of my extra curtains in here. So we're actually gonna go to the other suitcase. Because my cup runs over on this one, okay? We're gonna do this one. try yeah so I guess I don't need to make another curtain so the next curtain set I make will be for for one of y'all 
Can you see how this don't really fit? Because I got so many. I, actually, I got, let me see, how many curtain sets? So I got one, two, three, and then I have a lot of these other curtains that's on doorways, so I guess I'm doing a lot. Okay, but we, oh no, but that's the thing. So I don't even stand up. That's the thing. It was made specifically for this space. Let's see. another curtain for myself. Sad? No, it's not even sad. I, I, don't, I don't need to have everything for me. I need y'all to have stuff. So let me show y'all. We'll just fix that. We'll figure that out a little bit later. I wanted to show y'all something. So do y'all see this? I'm taking this with me. Do y'all see this beautiful fabric? This is actually, I took the Ashanti, I mean the Kente, uh, Kente print cloth slip cover off of this padding and this is what was under it isn't that beautiful this is just so pretty so i even like the under so even if you know why because i'm getting it washed today i even like the under i was just like hey that's kind of cool you know like i like that so so you know and uh the thing too with having stuff kind of custom in the way that it's custom particularly this is that this doesn't change and doesn't pop out i don't think so you kind of stuck with what you choose so love what you choose so no big deal i love what i chose so yeah calabash is going to get them into the lamps um uh talking to this man about this bag make it in that i got another idea with the bag but it's still a pyramid bag we're gonna get that made um uh, what else is oh and this skirt i'm gonna see um well first i'm i'm gonna shop around uh first i'm gonna uh let me say mail out some stuff but then i'm gonna go take my wonderful sketches because i got some new stuff i got this other apron that's all my mind. It's the baddest. It is like something you've never seen. Uh, apron that I need. And also, let me see. What is the last thing? Oh, this dope outfit that with its own headpiece. Oh, yeah. I'm creating headpieces because they go with the outfit. And I got a bald head. And my bald head inspired me how to, to create headpieces so that when I want to either, you know, cover my head or want a different look, I don't necessarily have to wear a hat. And anyway, it's gorgeous. It's going to be just so fabulous. So I, I want Esther today. So that's what my day looks like. And then anything else that might happen in between. If you want the curtain set, then email me at theblackbearedbeautyatgmail.com. I will send it to you. I will send it to you. Uh, there's a price for it. But if you want a bigger or longer one, then, of course, it's going to cost more. The fabric has gone up for whatever reason. It's based on, I'm sure, the U.S. dollar or the euro but the prices of the fabric has gone up. I thought I wanted to make sure the lady had told me that, and you know me, my New Yorker, okay, I don't trust everybody. So I thought she was just saying that. Because before all the fabric, if you had this kind of fabric or this fabric or high target or the other company, there was prices, difference in the prices. And she was like, all of it's the same price. And I'm like, well, how is that? Why? So I said, hey, Kwame, let's go outside, outside of the place I always go to. And let's check with the other ladies. And everybody had the same price, even in the art center. So there is something with the dollar. So it's going up. So that's why you want to buy it now, because it could go up again. You know, everything's based on the U.S. dollar. So you're going through your little changes. So therefore, that affects all the euro. So that's why it affects us. But let's get a little bit back to this fast fashion. I don't want to be too long, because I need to get out. But I want to just say, you know, so what happens is tons, tons of tons tons of used clothes are dumped into ghana alone every single day i don't know if it's one ton two ton three ton i'm not exaggerating to you every day and they end up in the oceans and they end up in the landfill and it's unfortunate too because at some it, what it is 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 it's actually kind of deadening the textile industry of ghana because of the wants, desire, now in some, in some cases people think they need 
to have European style clothing. And so what the tailors do, see on one end you don't you want to talk bad about the clothing that comes in, and another end, then you see another thing. A lot of ladies and men make money off the used clothes coming in and then they clean it or they wash it, they redo it, they sew it to fit the people, and then they resell it. Uh, but they're saying so much of it is garbage, dirty, and most of it is cheap. And that's what they're kind of shocked at that. Why is the stuff that used to come in years ago from Europe that was great quality i mean the idea was you wanted it to be better quality than the so-called quality you thought you was getting in, in your country but it's actually hard because it's coming from uh whatever europe's version of h and m 20 uh, forever 21 where that stuff is blends like they talk about how they have this new well this idea of recycling differently where they can take your old clothes like h and m was like oh bring your old clothes and we'll recycle it but the point is only 1% of everything you're giving back to the stores can be recycled, especially those places like H&M and Forever 21 Fast Fashion, because they're blends. They're not all cotton. They're polyester and dot and this. And then even to make that garment or even to yeah, make the garment or to get rid of it, tons of water is being used. So it's a, it's a direct destruction of our of our planet to be honest so this is why i love the idea of buying local buy but also buying for some of you not local but african and i mean truly african because ankara fabric is usually that i've seen some stuff on etsy and i don't understand it and it'll show ankara fabric and it'll say polyester 100 percent polyester and i'm going oh i did get some adinkra pillowcases was they polyester no that's not a great feeling even on that place called Society Six, where I got that duvet cover, if you remember, it was the, it was the, I guess it was like a, because they do they screen print or they photocopy kind of, uh, like a mud cloth uh, pattern, and then they silk screen it or something, like copy it, and then they put it on, which was polyester fabric, on the duvet cover that I had from Society Six. And also the shams to, to, to cover the pillowcases was as well. You don't even feel the same under those covers. You don't even feel the same. The stuff, the Ankara that's made here is 100% cotton. And cotton can actually be literally broken down into pieces and made into clothing again. So that's number one. And the, the Ankara fabric is so sturdy that I think about how how do these mothers take a, I don't know how many inch piece of fabric and hold the babies up? The same fabric that uh, Faustina is carrying to carry her baby in, I know that I've seen that fabric, the same piece of fabric for eight months since I've known her. So this fabric has the ability to hold a human being up. And some of the babies ain't that little. Some of them is like even, even Marquea, Marquea is a big, you know, she's getting bigger. Some of their feet be out to heel on the mamas. So it can hold up a child. I mean, just think about that. It washes well. It lasts long. If we, if we bought stuff that actually lasts, we would, less of it would end up in the landfill. And, and then, let me say this. And the, it would take a longer time to finally make it to it. Because this is something that, like, when I don't want this, I can literally pass my African clothes on that are all being hand-washed. My clothes are hand-washed, but these ladies are scrubbing, okay? And it's out in the sun. And it still looks vibrant and beautiful and gorgeous. So you got stuff that's actually made to last. So when you think about purchasing your next sheet set from Afrocentric Home Designs or your next curtain, Keep in mind, you're not buying no Ross-ish. You're not buying some stuff that was made somewhere that is, that is inferior, that is garbage. And it's also helping to have Africans understand that to me, make and your own clothes and sell it and wear it. So me wearing it, you wearing it, is even in your country, even in the States or in Europe, you're encouraging and inspiring other women to wear it as well. It's great stuff. You start, we have, I think for like Africans, especially Africans in diaspora, I'm, I'm specifically speaking to, not continent Africans, for them too, we have to value our own stuff and stop questioning the price of our stuff 
over some European ish that we would never question. We have to understand that it's important to put value, buy what is classic, buy what's going to last. This is classic. Like I was saying, I see it even happening in the continent, especially even at the center, where this, the beautiful bag with the strips that I have, I can go to other stuff as well, that is gorgeous. You can't hardly find one. It was in every single store. Now nobody has it. In the last eight months since I've been here, the stuff comes and goes. So because they're trying to keep up with the trends. And we said and the trends are just too fast. But they don't what they're not understanding, and that's okay because they gotta make their money. I'm not judging them. And I think that's something that maybe diasporas might understand more, is this is classic. If I wore this or my daughter wore this, so when I leave, it will still be gorgeous and beautiful. Colors don't go out of style. <laughs> you know, classic arms like this don't go out of style. This is a cute outfit. I mean, oh, let me show you the back. The back is out. This is cute. This is a door. This is be and if I wore this 20 years from now, it'd still be cute. If you wore this, you know, 20 years from now, it'd still be cute. It'd still be classic. It'd still be beautiful. So make sure too you make sure that your stuff is really coming from the continent because there's a lot of stuff that is not and there's stuff here too that's not made in ghana it's made in china but there are stuff still that's made in ghana as well and it's a good good sturdy fabric so the curtains the sheet sets buy it and know you're buying something that's going to last that's all i'm saying and when you wash it, it's still going to be there. Because you can pull it out year after year and it will still be beautiful. And that's something that I pride myself in. You know, a sister sent me the link to a video about the fast fashion, how a lot of this shoes, clothes is being ended up in Ghana. And she said, good for you for having your own stuff made. Good for you for, excuse me, for wearing the clothes. Let me tell you, it could become very tempting to want to wear the Eurocentric clothing, even here, because everybody is mostly wearing it. And see, African women make everything look good. They make them European clothes look beautiful. And the fact that their skin, our skin, because I'm part of them too, look at me, is so dark. The colors pop on that dark skin, y'all. That colors on that dark skin. See, the, the, the unfortunate they used us, but the industry knows that. We don't see the kind of darkness that I'm experiencing. Really, I'm experiencing myself every single day. And unfortunately, in the States and maybe other places, we've been told that that is not as attractive, that we miss out on. And, and because a lot of dark people, even in the diaspora, are so afraid of bright colors because they was told that you're going to look blacker, that don't sit in the sun, you're going to get darker that they have shied away. But these women have not been told those lies. So they are wearing all these kind of European clothes and some of them are bright yellow dresses or red. They're, they look stunning. They got model figure. They look stunning, you know. But how stunning would they look in their own clothes since they look good in bright clothes since we as Africans look good in bright clothes. So I hope to change your mind around what? And then it has meaning. Each, each fabric, each pattern, each color has meaning. Now, the only thing here is you got to find a good seamstress the, because I'm mean, going to get one criticism. And that's what I look for. Because they're making the clothes so fast, sometimes they make it haphazardly because they're making it so fast. But what I look for for you is quality. Uh, I feel like having a relationship with the vendor, like do I know them, are they good people, uh, um, am I paying them well, uh, you know, just, it's got to be more than just, there's this new thing happening, Afrocentricity, and it's in again, and I found a way I could make some money, so I'm going to get these cheap stuff and sell it for real expensive and just get this money, no caring about the culture, no caring about the people, no caring about yourself. And understanding that and helping two Africans to understand that what you got is beautiful, what you got is perfect, what you got is meaningful. So it would be nice 
to see Ghanaians overall sport in the African. At the same time, before we judge, because I, I had to take a step back too. Before we judge, we got to understand if, Sam Lee, if you have it all of the time, it's not that you don't love it. It's not that you don't like it. It's not that you hate it. It's that it's kind of, you know it, so you're used to it. You want something new. Everybody wants something new. Everybody wants the new thing. That's a human nature thing, I believe. So you got to understand that they, that's their mama's thing. But the only thing that I think that we could do, particularly because of the climate change and the effect of used clothes in landfills, particularly dumped in the continent, is wear our own clothes and support those that make our own clothes, that sew our own clothes, that style our own clothes, sleep on our own sheets, open up our own curtains, live in our own selves, our own beautiful African selves. That's what I promote all the time, every time. So yeah, so I just wanted to share that. So if you're standing and you like, I've snatched the candy on, I'm sure she already uh, put the web stuff in the email, but let me just go. Ah, uh, you look so lovely. Ah, me Dusty, that's a pretty dress. Thank you. It's actually a two-piece. Let me get it. Hey, Sister Lisa Marie, peace and blessings to you. Thank you. That outfit is vibrant and fire. Thank you. I've had it for a little while. Peace naturally. Uh, the guy from Tech Natural Club. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. The outfit is beautiful. He said, thank you. Quiet Queen Project. I love the name. You look so pretty. I'm living with the hat. I'm loving. I'm living. I'm loving with the hat. With that, the hat would look nice with that dress. Thank you. I think I'm gonna wear it. Ashanti Sadina says, "Hey, Lisa Marie, I'm loving your outfit. Thank you. That guy from Texas. I love that sofa. Isn't it beautiful? Thank you, Natural Clever. E. Let Mail, Lisa Marie, for all that you've seen within her space and on the channel at theblackbearbeauty@gmail.com. That custom design is cool. Isn't it pretty? Thanks for the info, Naturally Clever. Says, God, that's right. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Three, three tons a day. That guy from Texas. Yes, that's what makes uh, the fabric feel cheap by blending it. Yes, I found out about Society Six through Kaylin Nic Nicolison. Oh, yeah. On the clothes pass. Yeah, that's right. On the clothes pass. Yes. Oh, who is she? I'm not sure. What does she say about Society Six? Because, yeah. Uh, hello, Lisa. Love your outfit. Is it a dress? Beautiful print. Let me show you, Sheila. Exactly. You get what you pay for. That's right, that guy from Texas. Yes, a very feminine design. Very complimentary. Thank you. Facts. Anyone, anyone, any way looks good on black folks. That's right. Or folks saying you can't wear this because you're too dark for that. That's right. Stop that if you're guilty. So many brown babies being given complexes because of grown folks' issues. We are the blue. Yes. And when you come out here, that just the spell. Like I said, Kind of Africa, you'd be wanting to be, you'd be like, ooh, I want to be even darker. The darkness is so fierce. So it is a two-piece set. It's a two-piece set. See, I like this. One of the things that I noticed that their fashion here is always the high-waisted. And I, I, I particularly like the high-waisted. I like this skirt, too, because this is the pattern on the bottom. So I'll show you. I love that the skirt picks up this top the top and the skirt so this is the whole skirt and then the back of this let me get back to only one second uh and then so this is the back so it zips it zips in the back you see yes which i love and as a sleeve y'all saw this before i wore this a few times but i decided to pick it up so if y'all like these outfits i can get y'all these outfits as well so let's talk about this outfit. I mean, of course, they technically don't have it, but I can get somebody to make it because it probably was in three months ago. Like, that is so unfortunate, right? But how good does it look? All right, y'all. I'm going to go to the art center and other places, and I'll see you. Oh, sorry. I'll see you at the art center. Love you, ladies.